Hello everyone, welcome back to the Investing Iguana, where we talk about all things money and finance in Singapore. I'm your host, Iggy, and today we're going to discuss 7 common things that Singaporeans don't realize are a waste of money. These are the things that we spend on without thinking, but they actually don't add much value to our lives. In fact, they could be costing us a lot of money in the long run. So let's get started and see if you're guilty of any of these money-wasting habits. 1. Bottled Water Did you know that Singaporeans spend about 134 million Singapore dollars a year on bottled water? That's a lot of money for something that we can get for free from the tap. According to data from the internet, many of us buy bottled water because we don't like to carry water bottles or we think that drinking from public taps is disgusting. But the truth is, bottled water is no different from tap water in terms of quality and safety. In fact, Singapore's tap water meets the World Health Organization standards and is safe to drink without any further treatment. So why do we pay one Singapore dollar to one Singapore dollar and 20 cents for a bottle of water when we can just fill up our own reusable bottles at home or at public places? If you buy bottled water twice a day, you could be spending up to 60 Singapore dollars a month or 730 Singapore dollars a year. That's enough money for a nice holiday or a new gadget. Not to mention, you're also contributing to plastic waste and environmental pollution. So do yourself and the planet a favor and ditch the bottled water habit. 2. Multivitamin Supplements Another thing that many Singaporeans spend on without much benefit is multivitamin supplements. We often think that taking these pills will boost our health and immunity, but the reality is that they do very little for our body. In fact, some of them could even be harmful. Medical studies have shown that multivitamins and related vitamin supplements have little or no significant effect on preventing diseases or improving health outcomes. Moreover, some of them could contain unsafe ingredients or dosages that could increase the risk of certain illnesses. The best way to get your vitamins and minerals is from a balanced diet that includes fruits, vegetables, whole grains, lean protein, and healthy fats. Unless you have a specific medical condition or deficiency that requires supplementation, you don't need to waste your money on multivitamins. They won't make you healthier or smarter, but they could make your wallet thinner. 3. Cable Channel Packages Are you still stuck with cable TV channels that you hardly watch? If so, you might want to rethink your entertainment choices. Nowadays, you have so many online streaming options that offer a huge variety of shows and movies for much less money. For example, Netflix only costs around 15 Singapore dollars per month, and you can watch it on any device at any time. Compare that to cable TV packages that can cost up to 100 Singapore dollars per month and often include channels that you don't care about. Unless you're a die-hard fan of sports or news channels that are not available online, you might be better off switching to streaming services instead. You'll save money and have more freedom over what you watch and when you watch it. Plus, you won't have to deal with annoying ads or contracts. 4. Unnecessarily High Interest Rates One of the biggest mistakes that Singaporeans make with their money is paying unnecessarily high interest rates on their loans or debts. This could be due to ignorance, laziness, or inertia. Many people don't bother to compare interest rates or look for better deals when they borrow money or use credit cards. They just accept whatever rate they are offered by their bank or lender without realizing how much it could cost them in the long run. For example, if you have a mortgage loan of 500,000 Singapore dollars with an interest rate of 2% per annum for 25 years, you would end up paying a total of 750,000 Singapore dollar over the loan period. That's 250,000 Singapore dollars in interest alone. But if you manage to refinance your loan to a lower interest rate of 1.5% per annum, you would only pay a total of 687,500 Singapore dollar over the same period. That's a saving of 62,500 Singapore dollars in interest. That's a lot of money that you could use for other purposes, such as investing or saving for retirement. The same goes for credit cards. If you don't pay your full balance every month, you could be charged an interest rate of up to 26% per annum on your outstanding amount. 
That means if you owe 10,000 Singapore dollars on your credit card and only pay the minimum amount of 200 Singapore dollars every month, it would take you almost 10 years to clear your debt and you would pay a total of 18,000 Singapore dollars in interest. That's almost double the amount you borrowed. So don't be complacent or careless with your interest rates. Always shop around for the best deals and negotiate for lower rates whenever possible. You could save yourself thousands of dollars in the long run. 5. Credit Card Fees Another way that credit cards can cost you money is through fees and charges. These include annual fees, late payment fees, cash advance fees, foreign transaction fees, and more. Some of these fees can be avoided or waived if you are careful and diligent with your credit card usage. For example, you can avoid annual fees by choosing cards that have no annual fee or by calling your bank to request for a waiver. You can avoid late payment fees by setting up automatic payments or reminders to pay your bills on time. You can avoid cash advance fees by using your debit card or withdrawing cash from an ATM instead of using your credit card. However, some fees are harder to avoid or waive, such as foreign transaction fees. These are fees that are charged by your bank or card issuer when you use your credit card overseas or online in a foreign currency. They can range from 2.5% to 3.5% of the transaction amount, which can add up quickly if you travel frequently or shop online a lot. For example, if you spend 5,000 Singapore dollars on your credit card overseas or online in a foreign currency, you could be charged up to 175 Singapore dollars in foreign transaction fees. So how can you avoid these fees? One way is to use a credit card that has no foreign transaction fees or offers a low fee. There are some cards in Singapore that offer this feature, such as the Utrip card or the Revolut card. These cards allow you to convert your Singapore dollars into various foreign currencies at competitive exchange rates and without any fees. You can then use these cards overseas or online without worrying about extra charges. Another way is to use a multi-currency account or wallet that allows you to hold and transfer different currencies without any fees. For example, TransferWise or Wise offers a multi-currency account that lets you send and receive money in over 50 currencies at the real exchange rate and with low and transparent fees. You can also get a Wise debit card that lets you spend in any currency without any markups or hidden fees. By using these alternatives, you can save money on foreign transaction fees and enjoy more value for your money when you travel or shop online. 6. Single-serve consumables Another common thing that Singaporeans waste money on is single-serve consumables. These are things that we buy in small quantities or single-use packages, such as coffee pods, instant noodles, bottled drinks, snacks, and more. While these items may seem convenient and cheap at first glance, they are actually more expensive and wasteful than buying in bulk or making your own. For example, if you buy a coffee pod machine and use it to make your daily cup of coffee, you could be spending up to one Singapore dollar and fifty cents per pod, or forty-five Singapore dollars per month. That's five hundred forty Singapore dollars per year on coffee pods alone. But if you buy a regular coffee maker and use ground coffee or beans, you could spend as little as twenty cents per cup, or six Singapore dollars per month. That's only seventy-two Singapore dollars per year on coffee. That's a saving of 468 Singapore dollars per year on coffee. The same goes for other single-serve consumables, such as instant noodles, bottled drinks, snacks, and more. These items are not only more expensive per unit, but they also generate more packaging waste and environmental impact. They are also less healthy and nutritious than making your own meals or drinks from fresh ingredients. So instead of buying single-serve consumables, try to buy in bulk or make your own. You'll save money and reduce your carbon footprint. You'll also enjoy better quality and taste. 7. And used subscriptions and memberships. The last thing that many Singaporeans waste money on is in used subscriptions and memberships. These are things that we sign up for but don't use regularly or at all, such as gym memberships, magazine subscriptions, online courses, streaming services, and more. 
We often sign up for these things with good intentions, but we end up forgetting about them or losing interest in them over time. But we still pay for them every month or year without realizing how much they add up. For example, if you sign up for a gym membership that costs 100 Singapore dollars per month, but you only go once a week or less, you're paying 25 Singapore dollars or more per visit. That's a lot of money for something that you don't use often. But if you cancel your gym membership and exercise at home or outdoors instead, you could save 1,200 Singapore dollars per year on gym fees. The same goes for other unused subscriptions and memberships, such as magazines, online courses, streaming services, and more. These things can cost anywhere from 10 Singapore dollars to 100 Singapore dollars per month or more, depending on what you sign up for. But if you don't use them regularly or at all, you're wasting your money on something that you don't need or enjoy. So instead of signing up for subscriptions and memberships that you don't use, try to cancel them or switch to cheaper or free alternatives. You'll save money and free up your time and space for other things that matter more to you. So there you have it, 7 common things that Singaporeans don't realize are a waste of money. By avoiding these money-wasting habits, you could save hundreds or thousands of dollars every year. That's money that you could use for investing, saving, traveling, or anything else that makes you happy. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, let me know in the comments below if you have any other money-wasting habits that you want to share or break. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you for watching The Investing Iguana, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.